So what's up, how we doing today? We're gonna to take a look at seventh chords in a major key. So we've looked at seventh chords in the past and we looked at playing triads in a major key. If we're doing the key of C, just going right up, building a triad on each scale degree. Now we're gonna put the two together and it doesn't work exactly as you think. You just throw on a major seventh on a major triad for every single one. There's one little variation we're gonna look at, but we're gonna take those chords there, those seventh chords we already learned, major seventh, right? Our dominant seventh, our minor seventh, and our minor seven flat five, our half diminished seventh, and then our fully diminished seventh. But to do this, we actually do not need to know a minor seven flat five. Uh, we just need to know the other ones. So starting from the one chord, we just add on a major seventh. So in the case of C, we end up with C major seven. And then the two chord, you know, it's nice on piano, which is kind of, you just go up and you just keep adding these, right? But but to know what they are, I'll explain them and to apply a guitar is a little different. And then we have a minor seventh on the two chord, a minor seventh on the three chord, major seventh on the four chord, but here's the big change, a G7, so a flat, a five flat seven, because if we played this as also a major seventh, you can see there it says G major seven, but we have an F sharp, that would be a flat five or a sharp four, depending on how you wanna think about it, in the key of C, but we wanna to try to learn to stay inside a key. Um, if that's the note, if that's something you're writing this, you wanna go for that, ah, great. Go for it, really cool sound, but we want to fit in the key there, so you have to flat that down. So it's kind of like making certain blocks fit into you know a little kid's game there. You have to make them the right shapes, you know, fit in there, and that's what we're doing. So that one ends up being a dominant seventh. Then the six goes back to kind of what you think, a minor chord, so minor uh, seventh, and then a diminished chord ends up being a, I'm uh, sorry, I said it wrong backwards. I meant to say a minor seven flat five there. So the uh, other way around. And then back to a major seventh chord there. So the categories we wanna know are, you know, one in four have major seventh chords, but now instead of one, four, five, all being major seventh chords because they're one, four, five major for triads, we have one in four major seventh, and the five is a dominant seven, so it's in its, its own category. And then two, three, six, we can actually just make minor seventh, and then the um, half diminished seventh for the uh, seventh chord, or minor seven flat five, if you want to call it, call it that um, too. Which I, I actually kind of prefer calling it that. I don't know why. I just like the, the way it sounds, the way it looks too. I just kind of like that. Um, so yeah, so my program here saying that minor seven flat five. Also, it could be thought of as a D minor slash B. We've talked about it in the past episodes. Don't worry about that. It's just a different way of interpreting it. Um, it would be a D minor over a B note, but we're thinking of it as a B minor 7 flat 5 or half diminished in this case. And that's it. So if you want to know more about this stuff and you want to know more about playing 7th chords in a minor key, check out the video over here, and I'll see you in the next episode.